Good morning. I am in one of the few quiet places. <laughs> um, I'm on vacation with my family and it's been really good. And this morning, I want to share with you that I had this reflection and it's a a topic that has come up several times in my um, communication with the divine. And that is this new kind of being alone. And I'm wondering how many of you have experienced this. And I, once again, I'm seeing the layers Right? When I look back to life before the journey, um, I often was alone. And I felt like I was alone to I would say get some peace. It was like the need to get away from the crazy. And um It was also a way that I could do the things that I enjoyed, like reading. It was like I had to get away from people in order to be able to read. And I had places in my home that were kind of my spaces so that I could do those things without the noise. When I started on this journey, things changed. I became more aware of all the stuff I had stuffed down inside for so long. And it was no longer easy to be in that place of being alone without being aware of that, without those things on my mind in my heart and this um, this is another layer of being alone so now there's alone and aware but that kind of alone and aware kind of makes you not want to be alone <clears throat> there's almost a fear factor around it for me and so I filled my time as much as I could. I look back at pictures of myself from the early t years of my journey and I look exhausted all the time. When COVID hit, and we had to be in quarantine. There was a new kind of lonely, aloneness that came from being faced with the idea that it was just you. If you live by yourself, there was challenges. And if you lived with a bunch of people, there were also challenges there. But for me, the aloneness that I'm talking about was that kind of aloneness that was like, I'm not even gonna see other people. Um, fortunately, from because I worked, I telework, I did see other people. So 
Um, but it was, it was a time that I was, I felt a lot of fear around that being alone. And eventually as things progressed for my journey and I began the channel and I began to connect with people, I had a lot of people that I could communicate with. And there was a point in time when I was communicating with a lot of people from the channel. And when I had retired after the end of 2021, um, I even went through a period of time where I had people in my home with me. And I felt like that was really what I needed at that time. I didn't know it, but I did. Now I do now. I needed to not be physically alone, not be um, alone. And it wasn't because I was trying to keep things stuffed down inside. It was because I was bringing them up. And then my fear was, as I bring this stuff up, I don't want to be alone because what if I can't handle it? And fortunately, I had a wonderful support system. And I've entered in the last, I think I've become very aware of it in 2024. And I've entered into this time of slowly weaning away from all of that and being in this place where now I love myself. I love time just alone, just me, no communication with anyone. It is a new alone and occasionally I'm lonely. But I think that there was a point in time when I thought that if I accepted the idea of being alone, then that's what I would get. And I didn't want to be alone for the rest of my life. And now I'm willing to just accept God's plan for me, even if that means being alone for the rest of my life. So there is peace and joy and love in silence, in being alone. And I just wanted to share that and I welcome your thoughts. Sending you so much love.